Today, I'm going to be going into review on private server commands we need in Greenville. So if you do end up enjoying today's video, make sure to hit that subscribe button, hit that notification bell, and smash the like button for your own custom command in Greenville. Trust me, it works. But yeah, now without any further ado, let's get into this video. And the first command we have here is the fly commands. A lot of games on the Roblox platform actually do have a fly command. So I wouldn't be surprised if in the near future we actually do receive a fly command. And you're probably wondering, why do we need a fly command? We have cars. We have ways to get around the map. We have a lot of commands that aren't really useful in Greenville, but hey, they work, we use them, so why not add the fly command? I bet you it will also be useful, and might even be useful for mobile players, since they can't use free cam. So yeah, that is the first command, let's move on to the second command, which happens to be the ban and s ban command, which also means the server or session ban. I think a lot of people are going to agree with me when I say this command is highly needed. With the amount of trolls in Greenville, Myself, as a streamer or YouTuber, it is quite difficult to deal with these trolls while streaming or filming. And I know what you guys are going to say, we already have the kit command. Well, that's not really enough. Because if someone leaves your private server and it's no longer full, the player can just get back into the server with no restriction. It's that easy. And this command would be highly useful for roleplay servers, aka unofficial roleplay servers. So yeah, I think a lot of people are going to agree with me with that command being highly needed, but hey. Let me know your guys' honest thoughts in the comment section down below. And coming in at number 3, which I highly doubt will ever be added, is the admin and moderator commands. Basically giving access to private server commands if given the mod or admin rank. This would actually be pretty cool for YouTubers and role players, aka the third party roleplay servers for Greenville. It would be cool for other players in your private server to be able to use admin commands or moderator commands, but hey, hopefully it will be added in the near future. And then coming in at number 4, we have the refresh commands. A lot of you guys might not know what the refresh command is. So basically, if you're just in your server and you change your avatar, it, it, it could be very difficult just to reset your character and drive all the way back over here. But if we had a refresh command, all we had to do is type the refresh command and name, and then it would refresh our character without having us to reset our character, which is a pretty cool command. Now, let's move on to our fifth command, which happens to be the give or insert command which would give access to certain items and exclusive cars. And basically a cool way to set up some special role plays. Again, I highly doubt this will ever be added to Greenville. Now let's move on to the sixth command, which happens to be a event command. I really don't know how the event command would work. I don't know if it'd give like some exclusive events like highway role plays, UK RPs, something like that. That's something I could probably guess of if i had to type the event command in the type of event you want like a highway and then basically the server would load with a highway roleplay already set up for you that would actually be pretty cool and probably bring more players to private servers now moving on to the seventh command which happens to be the player count limit command i think a lot of players do dislike the player count limit in greenville as it's only set to 25 players due to lag of course and I think giving access to maybe 40 to 50 players at a time would be a pretty cool experience for private server owners, but would cause so much lag. So hey, it could be 30, it could be 50. At least it's a bigger player amount for private server owners. Now moving on to the eighth command, which happens to be some fun commands to be added, such as the speed command, the explode command, the fling command, the jail command, and the invisible and visible commands. So yeah, we have multiple types of fun commands in Greenville, such as sits. Well, I gotta get out of the car first. There we go. This is, I guess you could call it a fun command to add to Greenville for roleplay purposes, I guess you could say, or just to sit on the ground and just stare at the trees. That's a nice tree. We have many types of fun commands in Greenville, so I think adding a speed, fling, jail, explode, or invisible or visible command would be pretty cool. Now let's move on to the ninth command, which happens to be some more weather type commands, which happens to be 
the rain, snow, thunder, tornado, etc. Of course, the rain command is planned most likely, but the snow command is most likely going to be limited, which I hope doesn't happen. So basically, what this command would do is like rain on and it start raining. So yeah, most likely the rain command and possibly thunder would be added with the rain or storm update, which I hope is quite soon. But these two commands that I don't really have any idea about right now, is the snow and tornado command, which I highly doubt the tornado command will ever be added to Greenville. I think to add that command, private server prices would go up, so yeah, just, just stay tuned. But the snow command is most likely just gonna be a limited time thing where you can only type that command in the winter, which I sort of don't want to happen because bro, we could have snow in summer. You know how cool that would be? And now moving on to our 10th command, which happens to be the fire command. Basically giving access to set certain places on fire. Something useful for the fire department team. So yeah, I think this is going to end up actually becoming a command sometime soon, but I'm not 100% sure how that's going to work. I don't know if you just type fire and it would set a random place on fire, or maybe you could type fire and set it to the dealership and then basically the dealership would be on fire. I highly doubt that's going to be a feature where you could actually type the certain place you want to set on fire, but time will tell. And I'm moving on to our final command, which happens to be the commands command. Yes, actually. This command displays a menu with all commands listed, useful for new players of Greenville. Yes, surprisingly, this is not already a thing. I am actually quite surprised this UI or command is not already a thing. Basically, you would type commands and a UI would pop up with all the listed commands we currently have in Greenville. And that would actually be quite useful for new private server owners. And yeah, I think that is a 100% needed commands and most likely will be added in the near future. But as of now, the only place you can find all the private server commands is in the Greenville Discord server. Or you can watch one of my videos, I've done 3 or 4 videos on private server commands, or other YouTubers of course. And yeah, that is basically all the commands I have for you guys in today's video. Let me know in the comment section down below, do you agree with me when I say all these commands are needed in Greenville? And what type of commands would you like to see Greenville add in the near future? But yeah, that is going to wrap up today's video, hope you guys did enjoy. If you did end up enjoying today's video, make sure to hit the subscribe button, hit that notification bell, and smash the like button for a custom command trust me it works but yeah that is going to wrap up today's video hope you guys did enjoy and thank you guys so much for watching i will see you guys in the next one